now that we've gone over how to change the scale of a drawing, we want to look at how we go about modifying the title block and the background information for a drawing. So we talked about uh, last time the fact that the sheet that we see here is really a layer of three sheets, the 2D model sheet, the background sheet, and the working sheet. Now we saw that we used the 2D model sheet to be able to draw on and make geometry in real world scale. But now what we want to do is we want to create the background sheet or we want to modify, sorry, the background sheet so that we can affect the view of the title blocks. We see that the title block basically and the background sheet um, in general basically is composed of the title block and this border that is bordering the drawing sheet. So at the top, the default sheet is given um, two title blocks. The top being revision history, which has a revision number, the description, the date, and who approved the, res the revision. And in the bottom right hand corner, we have uh, the name of the, the person that created the drawing, the date the drawing was made, who checked it, who is the the um, engineer and the manager that approves the drawing, the the scale, the dimensions, the um, the decimal places, the tolerance, different things that give information about the drawing can be found in the title block. Now, Solid Hedge has a few um, default drawing sheets that can be used that has different types of drawing blocks or title blocks. Sorry, but we will, for the most part, be using the default block. So let's see how we're going to actually modify this block. Firstly, we want to use a drawing sheet that is A4 sized again. So we're going to go back to our sheet setup and we're going to change our background sheet to A4 size as well as our, our drawing sheet. We'll see if that if we change the background sheet, the sheet size will automatically change to the same size. So we press OK for that and we and press the button, uh, the fit, so that we fit the drawing centered in our uh, work view again. Now what we want to do is we want to modify our background sheet. So we're going to go to the view tab and in the sheet views container we're going to go to background. Left click on background. Now we see above the prompt bar we now have five sheets. We have our working sheet, we have a tab called A4 sheet, tab called A3 sheet, a tab called A2, and another one called A1 sheet. Now each of these essentially is a background sheet for a particular size of drawing sheet, so A4 through A1. Now we want to modify the A4 sheet, so we'll go on to the A4 tab. But it's a good idea to actually modify all sheets just in case you want to actually use um, different sheet sizes. But for now, we'll use the A4 sheet, and we'll go to our title block at the bottom. So now that we're looking at our, our title block in the A4 sheet, we see that before, when we had background turned off, the, the cursor had no effect on anything here when I'm left clicking. But with the background sheet turned on, when I click, I can actually select the entries in the different parts of the the title block. So what we want to do is essentially we want to change the name, we want to change the title, and we want to change what we have here from Solid Edge. So we'll left click on title, and what you can do is you can either try to change here or you can just double click which will take us to a callout box which is essentially allowing us to enter the text. So we'll change this uh, default text and we'll just put in name and we pressed OK and we see that this changes the 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 information that was given in this particular instance now the date you'll generally see an error uh, what this tries to do is it tries to reference the date of um, that is stored in your computer itself but if the the particular um, path is not correct you'll get an error so there's no problem with that we can just double click and we change the date that is entered or the entry there and we will change it to 
um, the 27-09-2013. And we press OK again. So now we have the name and we have the date. Now for title, we want to actually enter a text because here we have no text entered to modify. We see we have a box in here, double click, we see that it's just a placeholder for a title. So let's change our default that we have here and we'll just call it title block. And we press OK. And we change this to title block. If we want to change the scale of the or the size of the text that's been entered, we go into the dynamic box and we see text scale. While highlighted, change text scale to another number. So let's change it to two. You can alternatively enter the scale manually that you want. So we could change this to 2.5, say, and it'll be a bit bigger. So let's change this solid edge. If I click on it once, you see that uh, cursor has become active, so I can actually enter here. But we'll keep doing the method we've been doing, and we will just we'll click to enter our our um, editor. Well, for the title screen, it doesn't seem to want to do that. So, essentially, no problem. We will just enter here. Let's just put NCU as our uh, as our title here. And now we have our title block, NCU, the name, the date, check or change. Sorry. We can also go ahead and change um, what our tolerances are. If we wanted, we would just modify these values just as we did for the above title. We can change the scale. So here, scale is one to one. And we can, the file name is basically going to be the name that uh, we save our file as. So no need to change that. Drawing number can be changed. We'll just change this to one. And we can basically change all the, the fields within the title bot the same way. The same thing is done for the fields above, except that here there is no text entered. So we actually have to insert some text. So when we go back to the home tab, we can go to the insert container and go to text profile. What we do here, <coughs> sorry, is let us enter the text revision one and select OK. And we see that it is pinned to a cursor. So we'll just place this here and we have revision one. We can modify what the display itself looks like and you're encouraged to basically see how to play around with the text box themselves. So what we have now is we are still in the background and we have our title block modified. We now can go back to sheet one and we see that all the information we've entered has changed and we can no longer modify it. If we go back to A4, we'll see something interesting that we can do with the title block is that when we have particular um, uh, features that might need to not be changed in the future or may not, inter may not be needed to interact with our main drawing, we can actually put them in on the background sheet. So let's make a small drawing here. Uh, we'll do this. We will uh, just make a circle followed by an inner circle and another line or two, there, 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 and it's good. So essentially, we just made this small, uh, this small feature here, which would signify either first or third um, uh, view, or third or first angle view, sorry. And when we do this in the background sheet, when we go back to our regular sheet, we see it's still there. However, no kind of geometry put on the working sheet will affect the background sheet. So now to get out of the option to modify the option sheet, we simply go back to view and de-highlight background. So we only have the working sheet active. Now this way, we have a title block that's modified or personalized, and we can continue drawing and creating geometry as we did before. Okay, and that is...